Hey guys, it's Skylar from Gentleman's Gaming, and uh, today we're here with my uh, my first video with you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to um, configure your multi-audio out for when you're recording, uh, like we do on our channel. Um, it'll show up as Skype uh, chat, your chat, and then game volume in like Sony Vegas when you go to edit your video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to your web browser and type in virtual audio cable. And you want to go here and download their software. It's a pretty good software. And this software will let you have a basically a virtual line in. After that, you're going to want to install it using the Setup 64 if you have a 64-bit operating system or the Setup if you have a 32-bit operating system. You can check to see if you have a 32 or 64-bit operating system if you go to the Start menu, right-click on Computer and Properties, and it shows it right here. See, I have a 64-bit, so I ran the 64-bit setup. After that, you want to go where uh, Virtual Audio Cable installed, which for me it's in Program Files, Virtual Audio Cable, and run this one. It should say uh, VCCTL Pan, and set two cables, and close that out. Minimize this. Go down over here to your uh, speakers, right-click Playback Devices, uh, go to Line 1, and set, set as Default Device, and set as Default Communication Device. After that, X out of that. Go back into that folder and run two instances of audio repeater. Here's one, and here's the second one. Let's minimize this. Now for the first one, you're going to want to set line one and then speakers for wave out. Second one's obviously going to be line two and then speakers, and then you're going to want to click start. After that, let's minimize those. You're going to want to open your, um, let's say we'll use Razor comms for this. Want to open your uh, Razer comms up or Skype or your third party thing. Login. Sorry, I have to log in. Just give that a minute. Uh, come on. Uh, okay, there we go. Want to go to settings, audio, and set for microphone. Set that to line two. Okay. That'll record this into one separate audio track. After that, you're going to want to open your video capture program. In this case, it's the trial version of DX Story, so we have to wait 10 seconds for it because this software is not freeware. You need to buy the license, and I didn't purchase DX Story yet. So now we can experience the trial. Uh, you're going to want to go to audio settings and add two channels. One will be line one. And the second one will be line two. That's how you do it for DX Story. Now, say, like me, you use Marillus Action. You could actually do this in Marillus Action by opening up Marillus and going to Settings. Once this launches, going to Settings, Audio, and then see how it said here, line two, and then line one. If line one doesn't work, uh, set this to. No, actually, it should be line one. Uh, after that, Close out of Marillus, and the same thing will happen. But the only thing with Marillus is that you have to use the voice recording thing to capture your voice into a separate audio track. Well, guys, that should be it. If there's any problems, just let me know in the comments section below. Oh, yeah, one more thing. When you go to Mixer here, make sure this is set to line one. Sorry about that. So that's everything. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Um, this is my first video, so tell me how I did, I guess. Um, other than that, like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you disliked it, comment, rate, and subscribe for more content. Thanks, guys.